of the Book of Discipline. Paragraph 405 has already been subjected to a number of Judicial Council rulings. I submit to you that the creation of a Committee on Elections and subsequent sections with respect to the running of the election itself, in my estimate, subverts the spirit of Paragraph 405. It subverts because it adds a burden on top of already the discipline. It adds another test, which is a restriction in many ways, to being electable, and that we are ceding to a committee which is administrative in nature, for example, number one, the determination of the fitness of a clergy of an elder to run. That's the responsibility of whom? Of the Board of Ordinance. How can a small committee, administrative in nature, be given the responsibility to determine the mental fitness, the educational preparation, and so many other that I'm sure, with due respect to the committee and with, who is a good friend of mine, uh, in my youth year, it, it just does not rhyme well with 405. All right, thank you. Does someone else wish to speak? You've heard the speech in favor of the amendment to delete this section. Does someone wish to speak against this uh, amendment? All right, on this side. There was a person I was going to recognize before. Let me check with you. Was I assume you were going to speak on something else. So I, uh, were you going to speak on something else? I'll come back to you then. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Ray Abdon from Philippines Annual Conference, Capite. I'm the vice chairperson of the, uh, of the Ciporo, and I would like to speak against the amendment. First of all, uh, the Committee on Elections here, which is originally a Committee on Elections, uh, will be, in our amendment, it will be under the Committee on Episcopacy, a subcommittee of Episcopacy. Actually, uh, while, it, because the Episcopacy has all, all matters relating to, Episcop to the Episcopacy, it means even the qualification, uh, the determination of the, of the elders as to the age and everything will be under them, then no conflict with paragraph 405. I, I think uh, with due respect to uh, Pastor Levy, uh, the creation of the Committee on Election is uh, to determine, I mean, to facilitate uh, the elections properly in such a way that uh, we can really screen who will be the candidate, who will, who will be the qualified candidates for the Episcopacy. That's why there is really a need for this kind of a subcommittee, at least a subcommittee from the Committee of Episcopacy. Well, that's all, uh, Bishop. All right, we have heard the uh, speech in favor and a speech against. Is there someone wish to speak for? All right. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Reverend Ramos to, uh, uh, from Minpak. I speak for the amendment because we have already the discipline is provided already what we need. So this section is just to bar people when it becomes so inclusive for us, then we limit people to become for the position of the Episcopacy. So I stand with that bishop that I spoke for the fourth amendment. All right, we have two speeches for the amendments. Anyone wish to speak against? Looking straight back is seeking recognition. Sean Eduarte from UC Pace. Uh, bishop, uh, if I'm in order, can we ask for a thing from the chair, if indeed 
the paragraph 04 is is violated by this um, this provision if you are requesting a ruling on the chair the chair would take this under advisement and take this section off the table to give us time to review it okay if, and without objection we will do that and review it let us continue then The evaluative, my good friend Levy, my good friend of old. <laughs> we were young people then, many okay. years back, Bishop. J just to be clear, we're, we're